Okay, today I'm going to show you uh, how to make bubbles at home. Very, very easy. So, all you need is two cups of warm water, two tablespoons of sugar, four tablespoons of dish soap. Uh, Dawn works really good. I just have whatever from Olive today. So you're going to dissolve the sugar in the water and then add the dish soap. That's it. So I've got my warm water and my cup. So, two tablespoons of sugar. You just dissolve that. First. And the sugar just helps the bubbles last a little longer. first. Okay. And then four tablespoons of the dish soap. One. Two. that up. The longer it sits, the better bubbles it makes. So if you want to make it and let it sit for a little bit. So I've just made some ones out of some pipe cleaners. I've made a square and even though it's a square, it makes round bubbles. And even though this is a triangle, I wonder if it'll make brown bubbles too. Let's see. Yep, it still makes round bubbles. Um, anything with holes will make some bubbles. Let's see what we can get from that. Just try different things. Fly swatters work really good. This is some screen that I had. I'm gonna see if I can get any out of it. So anything that has holes, uh, I used to use strawberry baskets. They don't make those much anymore. Uh, just experiment and try different things and see what you can make. One trick I'm gonna try is you get the bubbles solution and you get a straw and if the straw is in the bubble solution let's see if I can do this So here's a bubble. I'm gonna put the straw in the bubble. Oh, I'll try. Put the straw in the bubble. If it's wet, it will go in and won't pop it. And then. I would suggest not doing this on your kitchen table. It's better to work with it outside.
Wow, that was a big one. See, if the bubble, if the straw is wet, it could pierce the bubble and you can add more air without it popping. Okay, go play with some bubbles. See what you can find to do.